Kaiju, Turtles, Dragon Ball, and more. It's Steven Story Reviews. Hey there, collectors. It's going to be Steven here, and welcome back to another unboxing video. We got a lot of these because a lot of stuff just dropped, and I'm so happy to bring it to you because we have a repaint that a lot of collectors have been looking forward to. Quite a few years ago, we had quite the conundrum of a drop with the SH Figuarts Super Saiyan Vegeta Renewal. We had some issues with websites going under maintenance and people waiting up until 6 o'clock in the morning to get their orders in. And uh, the original release was north of 50 bucks at retail, but today I am bringing you an unboxing of the SH Figuarts Super Saiyan Vegeta Awakened Super Saiyan Blood. That's right, we have a repaint that is going to be a more so affordable or a budget release, as they're getting to be known as, uh, of the SH Figure Arts Super Saiyan Vegeta Renewal. And I think this is a great opportunity for folks who missed out on the original to have this sculpt. Now, one thing that I will note is that this is going to be a general retail release. So if you are thinking about picking this up, um, there will be some links in the description below for you, uh, but there has been a history of these more so affordable releases like Saiyan Raised on Earth Goku, Full Power Super Saiyan Goku, there was a Super Saiyan Rose Goku, Goku Black that was released at retail. They were all released at Target. So if you are thinking about picking Goku up, Bandai Namco Toys and Collectibles America more so specifically Bandai Collect, uh, they do not happen to have this yet, but the US distribution will have this soon. Now, let's, uh, let's go ahead and wrap this 360 spin view up and take a close look at the box because Vegeta is back in a more so deep blue for his armor, which is neat, cool. Now, the back of the box pretty much just continues on that manga style guide, if you will where we are going to have some promotional pictures for Vegeta yelling and screaming and, you know, giving the good old-fashioned thumbs up and he's, he's doing the leg kick up in the air thing, which we all know and love, and that's all fine and dandy. Very, very cool. And then on the top and the bottom and the sides of the box are just going to be a continuation of that manga style guide, and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll be all good to go. Now, with that being said, I was just uh, just checking everything out here. And we are good to go. Okay, we have everything set up. And uh, let's go ahead and open Vegeta up. So, you may notice. One, two, three. And, oh, look at this. Oh, wait a minute. What do we have here? One, two, three, four. We have two yelling faces, one looking off to the side. Put a pin in that, we'll come back. So anyway, Vegeta opens up on the side here. That's what I like to do. I like to open up my figure arts on the side without the windows. So this way. Um, I've, I've found that for not necessarily all figures, but over time, the windows uh, do like to weaken. But for those of you who may not uh, be aware, they are starting to put the instructions on both flaps. And... Even though I just said I don't like to do this, uh, they are on both flaps, so you know what to do. So box, you can you can go away. So all right, here is everything that Vegeta comes with. Um, so here we go. So of note, this is not a premium Bandai release. However, you will note that we have compared to the original release a normal faceplate, a smirking but looking off to the side faceplate, and a yelling faceplate. You will note three compared to four. This one is missing different eye direction faceplate that's screaming. That is included with a premium Bandai release, Android 19 and orders have closed. Maybe a discussion for another video. But as you can see, we have all of the hand parts here that came with the original release. We sort of have the fighting pose hands. We have uh, gripping hands, sort of uh, gallet gun hands, final flash splayed out hands and thumbs up. And he comes with fists and a thumbs up hand, which is very much so characteristic of Vegeta. So we're going to do something special during this uh, unboxing, which I don't normally do. Uh, I like to save that for the review, but... Ugh, come on. Alright, so first up, let's go ahead and we're going to take a closer look at the faces, just so this way everyone can get a nice look at Vegeta. 
All right, and then after uh, an issue with recording, here is an up-close and personal look at the screaming face plates. So the other one will have Vegeta looking off to the side, uh, down more so specific for the original release he's looking off to the side. So here's the screaming face plate, and then here is a Vegeta smirking and looking off to the side. Perfect for a Big Bang attack, which interestingly enough, we don't get ever. No Gallic Gun, Final Flash, which I thought was interesting that Trunks a Trunks release came with that. So, we're going to take a look at Vegeta proper now. Maybe one day. Alrighty. And we do have a little bit of protective plastic, which we just have to grip and pull. Which is not hard to do. And would you look at that? It's kind of like riding a bike. So one of the critiques that I have seen with this figure, the critiques, is that uh, some folks were mad that there was nothing changed with Vegeta's articulation. Um, this was meant to be a repaint and get the figure back onto the market. There was no change in sculpt, which that's not what this was meant to be. Okay, so we pretty much know movement here, but here's some discussion that I would like to spark. So let me go ahead and move Vegeta's tray back, and we'll put Vegeta here for a minute. So, okay. We opened him up, first impressions, good. He's a budget release, which is good. I'll have fuller, more flesh out thoughts in the formal review. The pose for Vegeta doesn't quite matter, but if you've been kept in the loop for Dragon Ball figure arts as of recent, then you will know that we have had a few Gokus released as of recent. One being the 15th anniversary tour exclusive Goku. Okay, and then we have the Super Saiyan 2 Goku. So here's my question. Do you like how all of these look together? This one is a little bit more dulled out than that one, but I'd like to hear your thoughts. Drop them in the comments below. So with that being said, that's going to wrap this up. Thank you all so very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I've got a lot of figures to uh, to get through. And then just one more thing while I have Vegeta off screen here. Um, no, in fact, not uh, translucent uh, hair. Normal plastic with nice metallic paint. So there you go. All right, so yes, I've got a lot of stuff to get through. We have Trunks, we have Chainsaw Man, we have a whole bunch of Namek figures. I'm a busy guy. All right, so with that being said, here's going to be the end card for the patrons who do help out. Thank you so very much. You know how much you mean to me. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's about pretty much all that I could say. Here's going to be the end card for the video, so this way you can check out other things. You can watch unboxings. You can catch some shorts and little you can check out some socials. You want to check out the Facebook, the Twitter, the Instagram. I got a TikTok now because all the cool kids are doing it. Yeah, it, it just recaps some videos. Yeah. All right. Thank you again for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.